Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about the concept of tens complement. So what is tens complement and uh, for which numbers we can apply this tens complement and uh, how to find the tens complement for the given decimal number. Okay. Now see tens complement, tens complement of a decimal number is obtained by adding a one to its nines complement okay it means what for example just see here for example you have 125 so this is the decimal number so if you want to find if you want to find the tens complement for this particular decimal number what we need to do okay so here what we need to do simply we can say that tens complement of a decimal number is obtained by adding 1 to its 9th complement 1 to its 9th complement it means what first we need to get the 9th complement ok so first we need to get the 9th complement for the given decimal number after getting the 9th complement we need to add plus 1 to this 9th complement then that result shows the 10th complement of the decimal number okay so this is the procedure we need to follow so whenever we need to get the tens complement for any decimal number okay i think you are clear okay once again i am repeating tens complement of a decimal number is obtained by adding one to its ninth complement okay so this is the first point now the second point is Tens complement is always applicable for only decimal numbers, not for binary numbers. Okay. Tens complement only applicable for what? Decimal numbers. But here, what is decimal number and what is binary number? See, if the number is 120 or 156 or 200 like this, so all these numbers we are calling as decimal numbers. But if the number is 100, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 100 like this if the number is there so this particular number we are calling as binary number so this particular tens complement only applicable for this type of decimal numbers so it is not applicable to this type of binary numbers okay this is point number two now we need to get the tens complement for the decimal number okay so that is the reason why so first we are going to consider one problem and uh, for that problem so how we are getting or how we are getting the tens complement and what is the procedure okay so here the question is find the tens complement of following decimal numbers okay so this is bit number one and this one is bit number two so first we will get the tens complement for this 4069 and after that we will go for 1056.074 okay so first bit is so this is the decimal number we have so what we need to do actually if you want to get tens complement of this particular decimal number first we need to find the nines complement so how we can get the nines complement for the given number we already discussed in my previous video so if you know or if you know uh, how we are getting the nines complement it is okay if you don't know about how we are getting the nines complement so just go to my youtube channel and uh, there is a one video that is nines complement video is us uh, a uh, nines complement video is there so just watch that video anyway that same concept is repeating here also okay just see here 4069 is the given given decimal number if you want to get the nines complement for this particular 4069 we have to subtract each digit of a decimal number from nine okay just see here so actually this number 404069 4069 is the decimal number given so if you want to get the nines complement what we need to do we need to subtract this decimal number from 9 again here 6 from 9 0 from 9 4 from 9 it means that if you want to get the nines complement of any decimal number you have to subtract each digit of a uh, decimal number from 9 okay so that is the reason why just see here so from 9 if we subtract 9 you will get what 0 from 9 if you subtract 6 you will get 3 from 9 if you subtract 0 you will get 9 
from from 9 if you subtract 4 you will get 5 okay it means that so this particular only this 5 9 3 0 so this number represents 9's complement but we required what actually we required 10's complement so if you want to get the 10's complement what we need to do we need to add 1 to the 9's complement of that decimal number so that is a reason why just see here so this is plus 1 so what I am doing, I am adding this number to this particular 9's complement. So that 0, 1, 1 and 3 as it is, I am writing 9 as it is, I am writing here and 5 is writing directly. So this particular number or this particular value uh, represents the 10's complement. Okay, so the 10's complement of a, so 4, 0, 6, 9. Okay, I think you are clear. Okay. So this is one example. Now coming to the example number two. Okay. So just see here. Here, this particular value one zero five six point zero seven four. This number, this is the decimal number given. Now we need to find the tens complement for this particular number. So first, what we need to do, if you want to get the, if you want to get the tens complement of any decimal number, so first you have to find the nines complement. So how we are finding the 9's complement by subtracting each digit of a decimal number from 9. Okay. So that is the reason why. Just see here. So we have taken. So actually we have the number 1056.074. So that is the reason why. So which is similar to the number. So we need to consider the uh, 9's complement that is 9's. So here just see here. Double nine, double nine point triple nine. This format or this uh, the places of each digit is, is equal to what? This particular uh, given decimal number. So that is the reason why. Because we need to subtract each digit of a decimal number from the 9. So that is the reason why. So here the number is given like this. So we need to consider the 9's also in the same format. So that is the reason why. So double nine, double nine point triple nine. So now from this value, we are subtracting this particular given decimal number. So that is the reason why just see here from 9 if you subtract 4 you will get 5. From 9 if you subtract 7 you will get 2. From 9 if you subtract 0 you will get 9. From 9 if you subtract 6 you will get 3. From 9 if you subtract 5 you will get 4. From 9 if you subtract 0 you will get 9. From 9 if you subtract 1 you will get 8. So this particular answer okay. So this particular answer represents the 9's complement, the 9's complement. But we required what actually we required 10. So 10's complement we required. So that is the reason why whatever the 9's complement we got. So for that value, we need to add plus 1 here. Okay. So that is the reason why I am adding plus 1 to the 9's complement of the decimal number. So here 5 plus 1, it will give 6 and the remaining all the digits are same as it is we are placing okay so like this we are placing so this result this result shows the tens complement okay i think you are clear how to find the tens complement for the given decimal number okay so thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe my channel for more updates